Hello, I'm Meet the Killer MT Killer, and I'm here with another video for you on Shopping Simulator. Right, I've shown you how to upgrade the car park, I've shown you how to upgrade the sign. Now I'm going to show you how to do the workers, because I've shown you how to upgrade the building. I've also taken all of the lights out in here and just put one in the middle because it's cheaper and it looks the same as everything else. I've still literally got everything else, but before I move on, I just want to do one more thing because I've got the money up in the corner. I just want to go to the car park and I want to buy that one. And then uh, I want to go to the sign here and then I want to buy that one. I'm a little baby store with a big car parking sign. So what I'm just about to do is I'm just about to save it. Right, now I'm going to show you certain stuff and tell you about certain things. Okay? Right, let's start off nice and easy. Uh, worker 1, Toppen. Right, got me. Give me a second. I've got it written down. Right, top 1 is a cashier. When you hire this person, they will come in and stand behind the till. But first, you need to buy the till. And the till you need is this long one right here. Once you pick the place and put it in, they will immediately go to it and stand behind it. That's how the cashier works. You need to have one of these tills for the cashier. If not, they just walk around like an headless chicken and don't do anything. You're basically wasting your money then. Okay, second one, janitor. A janitor is, has one job and one job only. They won't do nothing else. They're just going to walk around and mop up the litter, like any mess. But I don't have any, so they can't do that. Shelf stacker is what I'll go with down, but they um, call something else. Basically, when you hire one of these, they're going to come in. They're going to be happy as chappy. They're going to come over to this, they're going to grab some items out of it, and then come stack it on one of your shelves. So if I buy some stock, let's say I buy six tablets, that's how many I need by the way. They will come over to the tablet one, and they will stack tablets. Just like that, you see. They went there, they grabbed them, and then they come and stacked them. Alright? One more thing. When you're in this mode, if there's nothing on stock, you can just change it to that. Whatever you wanted there. Okay. Right, so that's the um, um, sh shelf stacker, basically. Next one, security guard. Wait, did I actually get a security guard? Yes, I did. My security guard's going to come in, and he's just basically going to go and do one job, and that is to walk around, and when the thieves come into your shop, he's going to tell them to get the hell out. He's going to catch them, book them, get them out. They won't be able to take anything, because he shouldn't have them before anything else. Alright? Um, right. The next one, the manager... Now the manager manager has the most important job and probably the most complicated for those who want to do it. He's the manager, but he's not going to do anything until you get the manager's chair. And the manager's chair is this one here. Right. I'm just going to place it down just here. And I've got um wait how yeah I don't have enough money. Uh, so um I don't actually have enough money for it. I still don't. Do I? Do I have enough money? No I don't. Okay, I need to sell something else. Uh, you need that for the manager. Let's get rid of that. Right, so basically, 
Once you've got enough money to buy the manager's chair, like I didn't, and you've found a place to place it in like this, the manager will then go over, move out of the way, the manager will then go over and sit down on it. Um, now, I'm just basically going to tell you exactly what the manager does. I do need one of these to show you what the manager does. Okay, so what the manager does is he's going to buy stock and then shelf stackers are going to stack it. Yeah? Right. So he's just going to sit there. That's all he's going to do. Now you need to come to this screen once you've got your manager. Yeah? Uh, go down to the one you want to stack um, for him to buy up. Now, I want him to buy eight phones. If I can get it to stay on eight. Instead of me pressing order eight, I'm now going to come down to this very bottom number what's now unlocked. And I'm going to put eight in there. And then I'm going to go up one and go auto renew. And then I'm just going to click it and then back off it. Now, if I go to here and then go down, every minute in the game, He's going to make sure there's eight here. And then, once there's eight, the shelf stackers will stack it. I have tested this. I know it works because I have a shop that um, has it running 24-7. So basically, if I open my shop now, Look, I think she's running towards it. So, basically. Now the shop's open. He should be buying this. No, oh, don't have enough money. So when... Oh, yeah, it did happen, look. He did buy them, and... It did, uh... Put them in. See, it does work. Honestly, that's how... That's how he works. Alright? Um, the thing with the music, because someone asked me before, um, one of my friends, when I told him I was doing these videos, he said, how does this music work here? Because I forgot to mention it in one of my videos. What you want to do is pick one of your musics, yeah, and then you want to go to build. And then down here you see this one which says speakers. Grab it, and then you place it in the ceiling like this. And then it plays music. I ain't because I don't I don't have enough money. You, but you get the point anyway. Um, if you want to make sh your shop the biggest one there is, just go here and just go down and click that, and then it'll make it to the biggest shop. If you want better ceiling lights, just go to that one. All right. Um, these ones are signposts for hanging off the ceiling, so you can. Tell customers what's in certain areas. So yeah, now I've got a bigger car park. I've got way more customers now coming in. So, and I've got a big sign. So all these customers is not what I normally would have. And I sold out pretty quick. Look, if you noticed. So yeah, every customer who has something is going to a till. Right, now here's a little bit of interesting thing about the till before I have to go. This till here can hold up to six people in a line, in one line. The self-service one I had in the corner can only hold up to three in a line. Okay, so that's just um, to put it into perspective. So if you've got like two self-service tills, but you've got tons of people who want to use them, best to just buy these if you don't have the room just buy some of these if you need to um, by the way if you do not have her you can stand behind it and it will still work you can go and stand behind anybody else's in their shops now you see as the phones just got restocked automatic that's the manager doing it. So now the shop is being run by workers. So see this little green ball thing up here? If I get off it now, it'll turn red, saying there's no one there. When I get there, it'll turn green, 
saying this tail is now open. So anyway, I've been Meet the Killer MT Killer and this has been Shopping Simulator. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.